Hello everyone and welcome again. Today I want to share with you all how to create your own herbal tea garden. But before we get into this content, I do want to mention to you all that it's very important you do a thorough, thorough research on herbs that you can use to make an herbal tea garden and use to drink tea with. Not all herbs are actually usable as such and can be damaging to your health. Today, I chose to use mint and lemon verbena. When we talk about mint, these mints that I chose are actually in the category of green mint. There's a difference. In that category, you will have spearmint. Spearmint is used so in so many different ways in our in the culinary industry in the kitchen. It is used in savory cuisine and different nationalities. And then it's also used in a bake shop industry where or pastry industry where they use it in ice cream, they use it in chocolates, they use it uh, as a garnish. And so you will see spearmint almost in everything when it comes to the kitchen and also can use, be used as a tea. That goes with along with flavoring mints. And these can be pineapple say a pineapple mint what I have here that I prune back heavy that I already have used and then also orange mint chocolate mint and then this new one for me is called ginger mint I never have seen this before and so I said I had to get my hands on it and the reason why I chose pineapple mint was because I love their variegated leaves that's what got my attention I already have used this guy so it looked kind of hit and it's actually been sitting in my possession for about three weeks now, not being not potted up at all. So today I want to share with you how you can do this. And then we also have lemon verbena. And lemon verbena is actually in the verbena family, but this lemon verbena is actually can be used for a tea. Lemon verbena uh, has great health benefits when it comes to inflammation, um, if you have an upset stomach, and it causes you to, uh, and you have like, sorry, I'm going to say this, diarrhea. It will actually help to ease that pain and also help with um, insomnia. However, you still have to be careful with a lemon verbena because it will cause some side effects to your health. So they suggest you only take at least two or three leaves when using this uh, medicinal herb. These mints are considered again green mint. And when you look at these mints, these flavoring mints are actually subtle in their fragrance. They are not as strong as their 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 mother, which is the peppermint. Peppermint is actually a stronger mint that is considered a black mint. And with peppermint, you will see it used not only as a tea but also used as an essential oil and you will see it uh, used as a bug repellent in the gardens and whatnot. You will also see peppermint being used in other ways that I will explain at another time because I'm actually going to add peppermint to this container at a later time. So today what I want to do for you is actually go ahead and pop this up in their new homes. And these, in our growing zone, will grow back because they are considered perennial. Okay, we're on zone 9B for all those that are wondering. And it's very important when you're growing anything in the mint family, such as uh, mint, peppermint, and lemon balm, that is not in on my uh, bucket list that I have already grown already. <laughs> it's basically um, a, a weed, can be, uh, can be grown like a vigorous weed, especially in the ground. If the if it touches any of the soil, it will actually start to create roots and it will take over your garden. So it is very, important, very, very important that you take the, the liberty of actually planting all things meant in a container instead of in the ground. But it's really up to you on what you want to do. As you can see, our herbal tea garden is actually, to me, 
is incomplete for our family's garden because what I want to do is still add at least two to three more uh, mints in this container such as chocolate mint and peppermint and we may replace this pineapple mint here as well because it's looking type leggy one thing you should know is that uh, in the fall and winter mint has a tendency to like die back a little bit so I really don't want to spend money on replacing this one yet because it still it still should have a it still can have a chance of you know growing back we will see but what I added into the soil to complete it is uh, mycorrhizae and also a little bit of chicken manure and uh, topped it off with a little bit of uh, potting soil and so I didn't want my containers to be all the way full to the top with soil right now um, you don't have to do that you can leave it just like it is and it'll be fine because this is a large container all right and so I am going to finish this off at another time but for now we're going to leave this alone let it be and I'm going to um, water it in and keep it moving guys I'm NJ Cowley thank you all for watching please like share and make sure you hit that notification bell and subscribe and become a part of our YouTube family Peace.